The universe told me the mark of the beast is the f***ing passport. Yeah, so the universe scammed you then yet again. The revelation itself that has been transmitted, has been written down, clearly states one last time, hand or forehead. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Ralph Smart from Infinite Waters. I reacted to Ralph Smart before, but that was due to his vegan diet. However, this time he uploaded a video called Universe gave me a vision about the mark of the beast must watch so with that biblical reference about the mark of the beast my curiosity is spiked let's have a look <laughs> smile deep divers why the fake it's smile? not a crime yet <laughs> that was beautiful that was marvelous that was healing Healing from what? That was divine. Breathe with me, deep divers. Woo! Breathing Woo! in that good ass. I don't get it. I don't understand how people like to watch fakeness. I really don't get it. Apparently it works. I mean, mainstream media is full of fakeness, but I cannot comprehend if those people see the fakeness or not. Do they think he's super spiritual? Whatever that means. What do they see when they see Ralph Smart? I'm really questioning it because I just see the fakeness. That's all I can see. Unfortunately, because I want to listen without prejudice, I want to listen without judgment, but it's so hard when fakeness just smiles at you. Let's proceed. Prana baby, peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Another beautiful day. We got birds up there making love. Hey, hey, hey. Keep going. Let them continue, deep divers. Nature's got to do what nature's got to do. We got butterflies floating all over this place. We it's a beautiful point, day. Look, if you are watching this video, this is your confirmation. You are being guided to exactly where you need to be. Okay. Love is guiding you. Mm. Everything is going to be okay. You're going to get through this because we've Thank got God. this. We came here for this. Nothing is going to break us, deep divers. Prophetic words of wisdom. The universe gave me a vision. See how it's never got, even though we're going to talk, I assume, about the mark of the beast, which is cited in the Bible, we're still not going to say God. We're going to say the universe. About the mark of the beast. We got a whole lot to talk about. Look, even the cat down the road is pulling up right now. Because it knows we're about to dive deep head first. There but no first, cat. sprinkling some good ass energy on you right now, deep divers. Take that, take that. Take Thank all you. of it. Thank you. Raising the frequency. What Can we, we start, right please? Now? Raising the vibration. Thank you, universe. Let's start with gratitude, deep divers. Why would I thank the universe if the universe is a creation? Wouldn't it make more sense for me to worship the creator instead of the creation? I want to remind you what seems like the end. It's only is the nothing more than a new beginning in disguise. <laughs> what the caterpillar? Hey guys, I really didn't watch this video. This is the first time that I watched this, but it is so obvious what comes next. It is always the same spiritual mumbo jumbo wishy washy man. Anyways, again, I'm trying to watch this with no prejudice, ah, but we are all humans. We are all biased. Please proceed, Ralph. Forgive me. Calls the end. The rest of the world call a butterfly, and the whole world is going through a massive metamorphosis right now. This is what mm. we are seeing before our eyes. Now, the mark of the beast, what are we talking about when we talk of the mark of the beast? I was born in the church. I served in the church. Cool. What happened? I've read the Bible 10 times back to front, but I'm not religious because there's a difference. There's a difference between 
religion and spirituality. Religion is for people who are afraid to go to hell. Spirituality is for people who've already been there. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I've been That's to hell deep. and back, deep divers. And what did I find out? Heaven and hell are states of mind. It's a state of mind. There is no hell full of fire and brimstone. A place, but how do you know? A place where you're going to go if you do something bad. No, hell is a place in your mind that you create in your here and now moment. So essentially what you say is that it does not matter what I do. There are no consequences to my action because it's all internal anyways, right? So if I go out and I rape somebody and I feel good about it, there is no consequence because I am in heaven. So is heaven. And when you learn this, you free yourself. The Serbian scientist Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. The ancients knew that everything is energy. Even in the Hermetic principles, they say all is mental. That's the first Hermetic principle. So when you remind yourself that it's a war on your energy. Okay, but if you talk about the ancient mystery schools, the Egyptians, hermetic principles, etc., etc., I'm not novice to this. I studied those fields myself. Why then do you quote the Bible with the mark of the beast? Why do you talk down on Christianity, but still want to refer to Christianity? It is very, very interesting to see. It happens with so-called spiritual people, and it happens with atheists as well. They all want to tell you that Christianity has no worth on its own. It is very limited, it is bigoted, it is old, but they're going to keep on talking about it. Why? That's what this is all about. That's what the mark of the beast is all about. Your energy keeping you in a prism, not a prison, a prism of light. In Australia, a lot of people are furious about the lockdowns. They're screaming, stop taking away our freedoms. Stop keeping us in a prism. <sighs> a prism traps light, deep divers. And that's what this is all about. Taking away your freedoms, this grab for power. That's what the mark of the beast is all about. Now the Bible, a lot of religious texts hold a lot of deep meanings, a lot of wisdom because they come from wisdom. The Bible has a lot of knowledge from ancient Egypt, from Sumeria. Revelation 13, 16 to 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, their foreheads. and that no man may buy or sell unless he has the mark you. or the name of the beast. Yes or the number of his name. They are talking about the QR code, the vaccine passport. How did they know thousands of years ago? Mm, I would disagree. I don't think that the QR code or the passport is essentially the mark of the beast. I would say it's a prequel. It is a preparation. It is something to get the people used to the actual mark of the beast. Because as you just said yourself, it is either in the hand or in the forehead and it is not. Right, so right now it is on your phone or whatnot. In order for it to be the real mark of the beast, it will need to be something that is embedded in you. And therefore I make the argument that it will be the chip. This would happen right now. Because the ancients knew time is a man-made concept. Time is an illusion. There is only now. There is no past. There is no future. Everything is happening right now. That is true. The Bible talks of revelation. It talks of the final days. It talks of the final end game. And everything it talks about is happening right now because nice look, by the way, everything that is happening in the Bible is happening right now. So why do you still call it universe? This is really what I'm wondering about. So you essentially got your proof out of the Bible revelation coming from God and you still call it the universe. Of course, we could start talking about demonic possession, evil spirits, etc, etc, etc. But the question really is for your viewers more than for yourself, why doesn't he see it? 
right now he's talking about the value of the biblical text but he's still denying god why there is only now 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 <laughs> I got a lot to tell you, deep divers, but first, can someone please get me some breakfast? Because we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hey. The universe gave me a vision. Okay, cut to the chase, about please. About the mark of the beast. It's the mark of control. The mark of you losing your freedoms. The mark of you losing your human rights. I want to remind you, every single day, you are not powerless, you are powerful, and you are a co-creator. And right now, more than ever, we all have to stand in our power. We have to stand, we have to stand strong, we have to stand firm, we have to learn how to say no. And it's beautiful to see all around the world, millions of people standing strong. Honestly, you created this guy, man. By your worship, by your guru worship, idol worship, call it what you will, you create such figures. Totally empty, has been repeated a billion times over and over again. The reason why I react to this is because you guys asked me to react to him. It is so soft wash, it is so meaningless. What kind of vision are you talking about? Wow, really? The QR code, the passport is about control. Wow, thank you Nostradamus. Anybody that is into basic politics understands that this communist rollout is about taking away our freedoms. What kind of vision are you talking about, man? So Reminding boy. themselves that being free is their birthright. Now the mark of the beast, which is the mark of control, the mark, the mark of control. We're seeing it all over the world in Australia, people losing their civil uh, liberties. Their he pretends to be a vegan for 10 years. I personally doubt that. But that being said, I do believe that he's on a plant based diet, which explains why he's all over the place. You're repeating the same thing over and over again. I'm already diving deep into your video. Eight minutes already, man. And you just say the same thing over and over again. Wow. Freedoms. We're seeing it in all over Europe. The green pass, the vaccine passport. In Italy, if you want to go to gyms, bars, restaurants, yeah. you need the vaccine passport. You need the green pass. We're seeing it in France. You need that pass, that... In not everywhere. If you want to go to restaurants, we're seeing it in Spain, the same thing. We're seeing it in the UK. And now in the UK, they're saying, if you want to go to nightclubs, you need to show a clean passport. And this has created huge uproar. A lot of people are now starting to realize this is tyranny. Oh, they really? are trying to take away our freedom oh but man don't tell me what i know already please tell me what your vision is about or was that it already they are trying to take away our basic human rights that is the mark of the beast my friends no but it's not first and foremost if you would have read the bible 10 times back to back then you would understand that nobody knows when the end times will be not even jesus knows it only god knows it right only the father knows when the end times will be please give me patience with this man so that being said you cannot know that the end times are now even though it sure feels like we entered them i do agree we do not know if this is the end times but yet again it is not the mark of the beast because the mark of the beast has to be in your forehead or in your hand the only thing that would qualify for that would be a chip for example the cryptocurrency chip that bill gates just patented or the neural link that elon musk is working on that's it. Organic force trying to take away your basic human rights, okay? That's yeah. what the mark of the beast really oh. is. The Gnostics, the early yeah. Christians spoke about this inorganic force. Controlling human beings, manipulating human beings, governing every area of a human being's life. Yeah, that was in the context of the Roman Empire. This is what they talked about. But please proceed. And they call this inorganic force the Archons. 
and they said that they need your fear to survive. The more fear you have, the more food they receive, the more love. When you hear yourself talk, do you enjoy it? Do you smell your own farts as well? I'm really wondering. You have, they starve. Ralph Smart said they are afraid of love because love creates a world they cannot control. Mm. Wow, Slow motion this side. Mm. Key word control. An absolute cringe fest. You're so full of yourself, man. It's insane. This is what this is all about. Control. They'll tell you it's for your safety. Safety just means control. Yeah, we get that. It's never been about your safety. Like Michael Jackson said, all I really want to say is they don't really care about us. I call them the inorganic ones. When you realize deep divers, just like the ancients knew, all is energy, all is mental. And this is a war, Yo. a spiritual warfare. Yes, and spiritual warfare, again, you're quoting from Christianity. It's an invisible war. It's happening from the unseen realm. You have the seen realm, then you have the unseen realm. And yeah. the unseen realm controls the seen realm. This is what the ancients knew that yep. reality is not what you think. We are practically blind in the universe. We are seeing less than 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum, 0.035%, which is visible light. Why do you always close your eyes when you talk? So when you realize we don't know shit, we're not seeing anything. You realize that there are forces that we cannot see who are running the show. Occultists know this. Occult means hidden. Alistair Crowley knew about this. Now, let me talk to you about- This is literally like a 10 year old finding out about occult knowledge, ancient mystery cults, etc., etc. Read one Google article and tells you about it. The vision, the vision deep divers. The universe gave me a vision about the mark of the beast. Yes, please tell me. Come on, man. The universe told me the mark of the beast is the f***ing passport. Yeah, so the universe scammed you then yet again. The revelation itself that has been transmitted, has been written down, clearly states one last time, hand or forehead. So if you cite the Bible, why don't you cite it completely? Who is that mysterious universe that gave you a vision talking about the passport? It doesn't add up. 13, 16 to 17. And he calls us <sighs> all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark on their right hand or yeah. on their forehead. Uh -huh. No man may buy or sell unless he received the mark yeah. or the name of the beast. Or yeah. the number of his name. Mm -hmm. They are creating a war right now. Or the number of his name. The number being 666. Right? And now I started closing my eyes because I'm getting a headache. The number 666 is found in the patent that Microsoft just put onto their cryptocurrency system chip that will go into your hand. Right? So why not talk about that? That could potentially be, even though we do not know, the mark. But how is the passport the mark? On the planet, the inorganic ones, they're creating a war. They're separating people. The the va and the unvaccinated. Yeah. You see, for a war to happen, you need two opposing sides. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And this Why? is how they have been controlling you from the dawn of time. Separation. You against me. They have divided you through race, religion, nationality, and now they are dividing you through a global pandemic between the vaccinated, the vaccinated, and the unvaccinated. Mm. I want to remind you, continue to- Is this really news to anybody? Probably the people that are watching this channel, probably they're all kids. For them, this is mind-blowing stuff. Stand in your power. Continue to reclaim your power. Continue to- choose love over everything this is the way out continue to stay united all right guys but this is it. the video goes on and on and on forever 
I had enough. His words are just so absolutely empty. And in the end, it is full blown narcissism. I had a vision, deep divers. I had a vision by the universe about the mark of the beast. Wow. Again, the whole vision is described in Revelation. If you want to read it, you can. If you don't want to, then don't. It's simple as that. And that this whole technocratic communist government rollout is about control. Yeah, if you have eyes to see, you will see that. Don't get me wrong. I find it good that you are so to speak on our side and you see that this is wrong, that this is false. Fantastic little applause on that hand. But what I can't stand is this pompous grandiosity, right? Deep divers, listen to me. Man, all of this has been said. Church fathers talked about this for centuries, for the last couple of decades. It is nothing new. You're not delivering anything. As I said in the beginning, I can't stand fakeness and I can't stand scams. If there is anything I'm happy about on this channel, on this very censored platform, YouTube, it is that I always stayed true to myself and I can simply express myself truthfully. On a happy day, I'm happy. I don't have to put on deep divers, the fake smile. I can simply talk to my audience because I don't believe they're idiots. Right? I treat them like equals. I'm simply expressing myself here, sharing my perspective. Anyways, maybe I'm getting myself too worked up, but fakeness has this effect on me. Anyways, guys, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel, then check out the links in the description box below. Breathe in that good ass prana, baby. All right, guys, but this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.